Well, today we continue our investigative series that asks the question, is Albany safe? We ask that question for several reasons. The population of Darty County is decreasing, meaning fewer people are investing, paying property taxes, and supporting the schools here. Companies struggle to recruit people to move their families here, possibly because of the perception that Albany is not safe. But is that the truth? WLB investigative reporter Lena Allen is focusing on one part of Albany that is fighting that perception problem. Downtown Albany, it's a place where the Flint River flows through Front Street, where history is marked and where kids can be kids. Yet the Albany Police Department says bad lighting, empty buildings and the homeless population lead to a perception that the area is unsafe. According to the Albany Police Department crime data that dates back to 2018 up until October of this year, nonviolent crimes in the area outweigh violent crimes. The most recent high profile violent crime downtown happened near the police station last year. It was a targeted shooting on Jackson and Broad from one car into another. Over the past six years, there have been 35 violent crimes reported in the downtown area. That's just one every two months. There have been 1,169 nonviolent crimes in the area. Almost half of those are traffic offenses, and those stats are way lower than other parts of town. Now, Albany Police Chief Michael Persley says that his officers patrol the area as much as staffing allows. Even with our downtown cameras uh, and, and us putting in the real-time crime center to where I want to make sure that we have visibility uh, throughout the city, what I do know is regardless how many cameras I have downtown, even how many, let's uh, say, you know, projects we got going to where it diverts people, uh, people still want to see some kind of presence. So, yeah, we are committed to doing that, but that's staffing. Like other places that hire, the Albany Police Department has recruiting challenges. They currently have 50 entry-level openings. But safety is as much about feeling as it is fact. We ask people who go downtown if they feel safe there. So I go down by the mud puddle, I go all up through there by Rainbow Records, and then I go all back over in here. I've never had an issue. Albany mom Sarah Cornegay says she rarely comes to downtown Albany without her husband, but she does occasionally bring her kids to play in Turtle Park. Well, you do see homelessness and whatnot, and especially with the kids, you're like aware of that. I have had times when I've been on the playground when there's like suspicious looking people and you're wondering, are they suspicious? Like, why are they hanging out at this kid's playground without their kids? Stuff like that. We also took to Facebook to ask you the same question. Is downtown Albany safe? There were a range of answers. Optics often play a part in perception. Many downtown storefronts are empty. Some buildings are blighted. Those things contribute to less downtown foot traffic. We feel like there's more to be seen. I feel like people are less likely to commit crimes when there's people around. We launched a poll on our website asking you what safety measures are most important. So far, most of you are saying that more patrols by police are needed. Now, Chief Persley says there are plans for more safety measures in the area. But for expanding out in the future, yeah, we talked about the call boxes along the trail, uh, but specifically for down in the uh, Turtle Park and River Park. There, there's nothing there, and, and that's why we, we really rely upon the citizens calling that in. But even with plans for more safety precautions in the future, that may not be enough to alter perceptions. The overall feeling in Albany is downtown Albany has a ways to go. For WALB Investigates, I'm Lena Allen.